Hey all Silver Plains here, and today we're playing Super Mario Maker 2, and we are going to check out the top 5 most popular Super Expert levels of the week for the week of May 24th, 2021. Alright, coming in at number 1, we have Lakeside Buzzin' by Tuta29. It's a beautiful summer day at the lake, one checkpoint, team jump, team shell. Double points today, huh? That's a cool little intro room. Okay, and there I gotta really hold right. This level feels like too much for me today, I don't know. Usually I don't really have a problem getting into these type of levels, but this one is just too much. Okay, don't bonk your head. Cool. Alright, there we go. And we're at a checkpoint. Hooray! I'm hype on that. Okay, whoa. What just happened there? Is that jank? Did I just jank it up? Think that was all wrong. Whatever is supposed to happen didn't happen. Alright, here we go. Some indicators, some not indicators, here's some not indicators, here's some yes indicators. No double indicator for that part, which is a shame, because I would have got it my first try if there was. Anyway, we've done it. Um, that level was pretty cool. I just wish it didn't mix indicators and not indicators. I also think there's parts where the ceiling gets in the way and it should just be moved a bit. But overall, a good level. Let's move on. All right, next up on our list is Buried Paradise by Eli, and I've played levels from this maker before. Uh, SMW platforming level with one checkpoint. Another one checkpoint level, huh? This one has quite a bit higher clear rate than the number one that we played today. Oh, okay, cool. It's a little weird feeling with the momentum, but it's alright. That is pretty cool. Oh, whoops. Okay, I thought I was hitting that one twice, but yeah, I see now, I see. Okay, there we go. Nice. Alright, that was pretty cool. I like how that section ended a lot. What? Hmm. Okay. I'm confused at this part. Seems like that stack is just a little too much. But I guess not. No, okay. Cool. I feel like it didn't fall nearly as much the first time. Cool. <gasps> no Z indicator? How dare you? How dare you fill your level with such nice indicators and then not put a Z there. It's obvious you have to Z, but you still kind of just like go on autopilot, or at least I do. Yeah, that part I just think a Z indicator would have been nice. Overall, though, a good level. I had a nice time with it. Uh, flowed better, I think, than the first level we played today. And, yeah, it was a good time. I'll leave it a like. Alright, now we have Snow Peak Valley, hashtag Team Jamp, two checkpoints, Team Jamp, by MaximiSMM2. Looks like a 50 second world record, so 50 seconds for two checkpoints, that's pretty good, I'd say. 
Okay, got some lives. Don't need them, don't care. Is that right? Okay, very cool. I like that a lot, and here we are at the first checkpoint now. Um, okay. Missed all of the off switches. Okay, that's not too bad at all. Um, that section was really smooth and quick. Ah, got caught by the spike trap, dang you. Okay, so the second and third sections on that level only killed me a couple of times. Um, it actually went by pretty quick and was really fun. I like that a lot. Probably my favorite level we've played so far today. Alright, and we have Shiny Cave Adventure, hashtag Team Jamp by Geralt177. And I've played a lot of his levels, like Kaizo, two checkpoints, an old mine which is over 700 years old. Good luck and have fun. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. I felt it coming. I was like, I can't start until I sneeze. Alright, here we go. Jumping into it. Shiny Cave Adventure. I usually like Geralt's levels quite a lot. Um, they're normally pretty hard. This one may be the hardest one we play today. We'll see. Kind of precision platforming at this point. Okay, cool. Um, you know, that went really smooth. So I think this is, at least that first section, is quite a bit easier than the last of Geralt's levels that I played. Oh, I didn't expect the parachute. He has an indicator for it though, so that's my fault for not seeing the indicator. Cool. Wow. That was great. And got it my second try, too. Not too shabby. What's this section gonna be? Oh my gosh. So we got some more precision stuff going on. Okay, okay. Alright, wow. So, literally the hardest jump was right after the second checkpoint going through the two sets of piranha plants. Other than that, that was actually pretty easy compared to the other levels we've played. I liked it a lot. Very fun. Alright, and the last level comes to us from Phoenix, SM 3D World Power Up Panic. Three parts with different power-ups, good luck and have fun. Uh, three out of four stars. So this guy goes by a four star scale, not a five star scale. Very interesting. And a 1.15% clear rate, so not too bad on the clear rate. Reach a goal without landing after leaving the ground? I see. So no checkpoints in this one. 
Uh, hello. Okay, hold on. Oh my gosh, dude, okay. This is pretty crazy. I think, do I have to shoot that a couple of times? Oh man, I am not the best 3D world player, as some of you might know. Really? Okay, I'm getting the hang of it, though. Oh, pfft. Okay, well, let's see what else there is. Okay, yep. Okay, yep, touching the ground some more. So that's the second part. So, yeah. Okay, yeah, we've done it. Wow, okay, so I had to really focus on that. Um, the second section of that level, just dropping you into spikes and stuff, um, gives the player no time to prepare, and it sucked all the fun out of the first and last section. Um, which the second section is probably why it made it into Super Expert anyway, but for once I'm not gonna leave a like on that level because I don't think it compares even remotely to the other four levels that we played today, um, and was actually kind of frustrating to clear, so... On that note, I'm gonna call it a day. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, and here's Pistol. He's gonna come say goodbye. Yeah, much love from both me and Pistol. Thank you so much, and we will see you guys next time. Good boy. Yeah.